after the initial shock of the UPDF's Tuesday early morning blitzkrieg targeted at ADF camps in North Chivu and Ituri provinces of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Life has returned to normal at Busunga border point in Busunga town council in Bundibujo district. For some though, the memories of the attack will last a lifetime. Yesterday it was uh, around the six, we had bombs. Uh, in the, we, we saw the, the old space uh, scattered with the fire. Now we have to go to I'm to Narimonomba, Banabona, Sukuru, Bonamba Koraki, Bahukaga, Monomba, and I come. Now, you know, there have been to Bomua and Nasija Nanka, Namanantia Barabo Batahido. On Wednesday, as UPDF soldiers passed through Busunga border point into the DRC, traders at the flea market expressed confidence in the National Army. We are also happy because they are trying to bring in security between the two countries. So we are always with councillors and chairman of the C3, we are talking about security. They should be vigilant because there is some vijambia, some bombs. We don't think that we have only ADF. As UPDF troops and Congolese Army Special Forces continue with the mop-up operations, the Minister of State in charge of international relations, Henry Oriemokelo, says the initial blitzkrieg was a success with no collateral damage. Because this operation is expensive, mm. we need, cannot come out, uh, we cannot have a second shot at it. So the operation should be su so successful that we wipe this matter of the ADF once and for all. Our very good friends uh, out there, mm. whom I cannot name now, availed us uh, high-valued intelligence which they would not ordinarily uh, share in other circumstances. He attributes these successes to support from the region and the international community, especially the permanent five member states of the United Nations Security Council. Uh, Oria Mokelo, however, had no kind words for MONUSCO, the UN's peacekeeping force in the DRC, which he called a useless group. Yesterday, on its Twitter page, MONUSCO reaffirmed that its mandate authorizes it to support the Congolese army in its operations. However, the mandate does not allow MONUSCO to support operations of a regional coalition, in this case, the current joint operation to annihilate the ADF. We don't need their, 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 their uh, uh, military assistance. The UPDF has capacity to do what is doing the Eastern DRC without the assistance in any form or manner. Patrick Muyaya, the spokesperson of the Congolese government, in an interview with International News Network, Al Jazeera, says Uganda and DRC joined forces because the ADF was killing more Congolese than Ugandans. If in the past years there was some issue with Ugandans, today both presidents are working closely mm -hmm. because we need to defend a common enemy because ADF are killing in DRC more than they are doing in Uganda. Those ADF are hiding in the forest. The place where the, where the operation is going on now, uh, there is no population in that part of the country. On Wednesday, Brigadier Flavia Biakwaso, the spokesperson of the UPDF, assured the nation that the UPDF will remain in the DRC until the ADF is completely wiped out. Sources in Beni, in North Chivu, say the locals who have faced the brunt of ADF attacks are happy with the arrival of the UPDF. Uganda's government accuses the militant group of being behind last month's bomb attacks in Kampala. Gillian Nantume, NTV, tonight.